When someone has the gift, I <laughs> cannot resist. I, I am told that you are so adept at it. If our audience closes its eyes, they will actually have the impression that I am privileged to interview some people who might otherwise never have appeared on this stage. <laughs> our guest is Jimmy Stewart. And uh, uh, Mr. Stewart, generations of actors have admired your naturalism and your simplicity. Now, is that just Jimmy Stewart, or is it Jimmy Stewart playing a kind of Jimmy Stewart? <laughs> Well, no, no, Jimmy, I, 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 I know what you're saying. I'm aware of what you're trying to say. And the answer is yes. You can all testify now to the fact that I have interviewed Jimmy Stewart. Um, now, uh, here I am, this is after all a kind of interview show, a talk show, and Johnny, you reigned for years as king of talk show hosts. Well, now we're talking. What was the secret of your success? <laughs> you know, Jimmy, I'd love to answer that, but I don't work on Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I understand that you have conducted a long correspondence with uh, uh, Kevin Spacey and that he approached you once, Miss Hepburn. <laughs> and, I, and I would like to know whether, uh, wh what's, what's that story? Have you actually corresponded? What do you write? He is a stalker. <laughs> He just won't leave me alone. <laughs> well, when, when he writes to you, what do you respond? He writes letters, goes on and on about himself, and I just say, <laughs> good for you. <laughs> um, uh, I would like to ask you, please, because you, you are a very good director, as well as a wonderful actor, Mr. Eastwood. Um, <laughs> What is the, just a word of advice for our many directors out there in our school? Well, I'd say get it done by four so you can hit the links. <laughs> Mr. Gielgud, am I on the right track? Mr. Gielgud, American actors envy you, your impeccable diction. How, do you, how did you acquire it? No, oh, went to school, you know, trained for years and years. <laughs> Marlon, English actors, English actors do not admire your diction. How did you acquire it? Could it by any chance, could it by any chance have been a result of your training at the actor's studio? Listen, I didn't learn tiddly twat at the actor's studio. <laughs> Frankly, I'm just sick and tired of all you cats just living off my name forever. <laughs> so leave me alone and bring me the Doritos, would you? <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Walken, you, you are... despite what was just said, a, a distinguished member of the Actors Studio, uh, and this is your second time on this stage, uh, do you have a response for, for Marlon? Well, you know... <laughs> he's just stoned, you know. You gotta <laughs> forgive him, you know. <laughs> he's crazy that way. I'm going to call on another member of the Actors Studio, distinguished member of the Actors Studio, uh, to uh, respond. Uh, Mr. Pacino. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> You've already been immortalized by... <laughs> <laughs> by 
by Kevin Spacey on Saturday Night Live. We all said, saw that. Uh, how did you feel about it? Did you, were you pleased? Did oh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't bother you at all? No. <laughs> Can I get a cappuccino? <laughs> I know that like so many uh, of our students who remember your evening here on the stage with us, uh, Kevin Spacey often looks to you, Jack Lemon, for uh, professional wisdom. What is your final word tonight? What is your advice to our young people? I wish the hell he'd stop calling me. Leave me the f alone. 